right all right welcome back it's tuesday march 19th i believe 2024 and it's about three in the afternoon today's project is going to be assembling this front bumper um, i don't think i have enough hardware <clears throat> i have some some leftover bolts from the back bumper but this ain't going to be enough so we'll see how far we can get today and probably have to make a run to the hardware store but i've had these bumpers for probably a year they've been chrome plated it's a front bumper they look great they look excellent and uh, so i got some pictures that i took when i disassembled this in a video so i have a reference on how this goes back together but uh i guess i assume it can only go one way we got the brackets powder coated and then of course the front balances are here painted ready to go on so let me sort this stuff out i don't know if it's easier to get this this big piece mounted on the car first and go off of that or assemble it off the car and put it on as one chunk but we'll see i'm going to mess with it and i'll bring you guys back once i get some work in all right all right so it's been two hours i had to run to the store i had to run i run tractor supply I actually like to buy all the nuts and bolts from Tractor Supply because they sell them by the pound. So I just bought an assortment, 10 of each, different sizes. That way I don't have to go back. Managed to get this thing kind of mocked up loosely. All the bolts are in place. This thing is super awkward. I wish I had five hands. But uh, the process was you bolt these on first and then this one. And then this one goes on the inside of the corner bumper and then it ties into the middle. It took me a while to figure that out as I was working upside down from the pictures I had. But it's just awkward because you really don't want to go scratching up all the chrome and stuff. So got to be kind of careful. I think I managed to do it without scratching much. So all I'm going to do now is start tightening these things up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on the car by myself. I might wait till the weekend until I get some help over here. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. So let me get these things tightened up. So far, so good. I like the uh, I like the satin powder coat. I, I usually go gloss on everything, but I kind of I'm kind of digging the satin, semi gloss satin, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, let me uh, bring you guys back once I get this thing all tied in, and hopefully on the car. All right, we're back. It's Saturday, March twenty third, twenty twenty four. It's about seven thirty in the morning. <clears throat> and uh, today's goal is to get this front bumper on. It's been sitting since earlier this week. I got it all assembled. Uh, I attempted to put this thing on myself. Tried my best. Tried to improvise and come up with ways to lift this thing up evenly. And uh, that thing is really heavy. I managed to bump one of the fenders. But we didn't cause any damage because I double taped them before I started this process. So at that point, I decided to go ahead and stop and wait till I get some help, which is today. Uh, with three people, this thing should probably go on in about a minute versus uh, one person, you know, wrestling with it. So that's what we're going to do this morning once my help gets here. Um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to wire up the, uh, the front lights. That's today's goal for my car, at least, is bumper, is finish up the front end. Right, all right, here we are the next day. Yesterday, unfortunately, I couldn't record anything of the process of putting on this bumper. It was just way too loud. Uh, and uh, we just had a lot going on yesterday here at the house, at the shop. Uh, so I'll just do a recap here. We got the front bumper on. This was definitely at least a three-man job. Uh, one on each end. Bringing the bumper up to where it needed to be, making sure it doesn't hit the fender real close here you can almost get my pinky in there if I tried so trying to do that by yourself I tried to do that by myself and uh, I had double taped the fenders up and I actually bumped it with the with the bumper and I, that's when it was quitting time so just waited to get some help so it's on now and like I say it's it's really close on the fenders which is good this side a little bit more 
a little bit more, but really there's no room for adjustment. The way that uh, it's set up, I, mean, I guess you can adjust it if you took it apart again, but I'm happy with that. Actually, when I got the car, the gap on this side was, was massive. I think the fender was pushed in or something, the other fender I had. So this is a huge improvement of how it looked and it's kind of been in the back of my mind on how this was gonna fit. Um, and so, you know, I love it. So uh, I'll take you under, underneath here in a little bit. Uh, so the bumper's on, the balances are on, uh, the lights are wired up. I don't have any turn signal or parking lamps, bulbs. So, but I did uh, test it with the test light and they do function as they should. Just gotta get some bulbs. Uh, brand new uh, headlights. These are just original style, not, not halo or uh, LED or anything like that. Just kind of original for now. Uh, I'm just kind of overspending a bunch of money on this thing. So I actually had these on the shelf. So why not use them? They're brand new. Uh, like I say, everything's wired up. I did that yesterday. Uh, so basically it's coming out of the, uh, of the firewall up under there. I got to put a little more tape there and clean that up a little bit more. And it goes under the fender and I'm, I'm going to utilize this hole right here to, to zip tie or somehow tie in the, the wiring coming out into this. Uh, it's all wrapped up in cloth tape. As you can see, then it goes through that hole right there. So that hole right there, put this thing back on my head. Is that hole right there? Put a little grommet on there, clean it up. It goes from there to this hole, from that hole to this first headlight. Like I said, I wanted to record the process of wiring it, but too loud, so recap. It's just like the back. One wire here for your headlight, jump it to the other wire. Bright light, same thing from here, actually from here to here to all four, I believe. Um, and that's pretty much it. Parking lights, you got two separate wires, two, two separate, uh, I believe, light blue, dark blue. One goes to left, one goes to right, and then you have a brown that you jump from, from this one to the other one. The, the instructions are really simple on the American Auto Wire. I mean, literally, if you follow those instructions, word for word, step by step, you can't screw this up. It's really simple. Uh, horn, got it right here. I don't have any horns right now, but it's, it's coming up under the... Uh, Radiator support, horn plug here, jumps it. The other horn plug right here, hopefully that reaches. And uh, that's pretty much it for the wiring, really straightforward, there's only four or five wires. Uh, the balances, the reproduction balances fit uh, surprisingly really well. Uh, they didn't exactly fall in place. You do have to kind of stretch them a little bit, kind of kind of give them a little bit of uh, encouragement but the holes do line up you know pretty good reproduction uh license plate panel fit pretty good surprisingly was debating on getting that chromed or not uh but i think i kind of like it like that plus with the license plate you really cover you know half of it up so that's in you can actually put that in at any time you can and you can take the balances off at any time uh, so let me, let me uh, get set up here underneath the car. I'll bring you guys back. We'll go over the process of bolting this bumper on. All right, here we are. Basically four bolts hold this whole assembly on. One, two, same on the other side. Um, you guys know that this frame is, is wrapped and molded. So I welded in cage nuts in place of just a hole. So basically these things bolt right into the cage nut and we're done. This side over here, it's capped off, there's no access. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be running the brace that, that connects from here to somewhere over here uh, cause it's molded out. So I don't really feel a need for that. Let me get under here a little bit. Everything's been powder coated and everything's new, new bolts. The valance basically ties in to the bumper right here with a bracket to the center hole right here. And then I use the J clips. I don't know I don't know if the J clip goes on the fender or the valance. 
Uh, I don't. It's not that crucial, so I put it on the uh, uh, valance. Uh, right here, this this valance has a, a, a threaded hole for a bolt, a little half inch bolts. Uh, comes with a front end kit. What I end up doing, I bought a 5960 uh, front end assembly bolt kit, and it is pretty inclusive, but it's not 100% inclusive. So I, I ran out of bolts because it doesn't come with all the bolts. It comes with the majority of the bolts. It doesn't come with little bolts for the valances. It doesn't come with little bolts like this. Uh, so what I did to supplement was I ordered just another 64 bolt kit because it's kind of the same pro you know, same thing. And uh, and now I got plenty. So tech tip there, if, if uh, it's best just to go ahead and buy two sets of front end sheet metal kit and that way you have plenty and you're not, you know, run it out and you have plenty left over for the next one uh little bracket right here for the valance bolts here bolts to the frame the valance also bolts right there and then one down low right here kind of twist it up under here but it's pretty much it uh, we did have to wallow this hole out just a hair because it wasn't it wasn't reaching and since it's a cage nut it's kind of limit you know it's limited if it was just a hole then it'd be a whole lot easier so we had to take it back down wallow out the hole up just a hair and uh and then it fell right in place so same thing on this side as you can see bolts right there washers and pretty straightforward pretty straightforward it's kind of a close Close call down there on the on the end of the bumper, but uh, it clears. It clears. Uh, I do have some bumper guards on the way. Um, the Repop Chinese. Curious to see how they're going to fit. Uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But you can access the bumper with this whole thing on. Up under here, you can uh, actually right here. Stay, I can feel bumper. So we're going to be able to put the guards on. Uh, you know without having to drop the bumper so recap this front end front end is done the lights work everything is chrome plated uh, minus the license panel headlight bezels grill uh, grill emblem uh, bumper of course uh, parking light bezels uh, eyebrows everything is uh, been chrome plated uh, not from this car uh, the the bumper the outers are original to the car the center I bought uh, the one that came with the car was pretty well whooped and I ended up scoring the NOS center for like $125 on eBay or something like that and then I got it re-chromed. It, it was decent but putting it up against the re-chrome outers it, it would, uh, you would notice so I went ahead and got that chromed. Uh, outside of that the lower valance here is also chrome. I bought this stuff already chromed uh, and, and surprisingly it fit pretty good fit pretty good um, minus the eyebrow we had to trim this eyebrow I believe this was a Bel Air eyebrow they're longer from from what I learned is uh, on the Bel Airs you don't have the fender spear right here so the the trims overlap so it's longer so we use a Dremel to cut it outside of that the nose is done uh, I do have the hood painted already as you guys know hood lips already chromed I got the letters so basically I need to wet sand and buff that Put the trim on, then the hood can go on. I do have original hinges over here. Need to get those cleaned up and painted or figure out what I want to do with that. Uh, we did start the car up last night. Fired right up, first time, no issues. So, car's coming together. Uh, like I said, I wish I could have recorded, but we was, we was, on, we was uh, in the mode yesterday and uh, I didn't want to stop stop to record so anyways I believe next up for this car with the with the front end done I believe we're ready to to go ahead and get uh, some upholstery in get the carpet in get the carpet got to take the rear panels out uh, carpet in front and back seat can go in and uh, we're moving right along I'm gonna go tomorrow see about a drive shaft locally Hopefully they can get that done in a day or two. Once we get that, you know, we can move the car in and out. I still need exhaust. Those are the three main things I need on this car. Drive shaft, exhaust, and batteries for the trunk. And once that's done, you know, I mean, 
outside of that it'll just be some really minor stuff minor detail work but hope you guys enjoyed this update y'all stay tuned for more work thanks for watching